Hello, everybody. It's Jane Vellante from Jane Vellante Art. Welcome back. So last week I made this envelope journal. So it's a fun, beautiful little journal from this these envelopes with handmade paper. And you can see they, they're just so pretty. They have a lot of texture. And so this week I am making some ephemera. I'm going to need something to go inside of this pocket. And I think I'm going to cover this whole thing too to make it look a little uh, just nicer, crisper. I need something here. Not sure what. And then I need something for in here. And this would actually be a really great little pen pocket too. So um, I'm actually just considering perhaps having it be a pen pocket. Look at how great that is. And I may just do that. So we'll see, but then maybe I'll put something over here. <laughs> so we will see what happens here. I have a couple of gel prints that I made um, that I'm going to consider using with this book. The first one is this one, and then I really love this one. If you want to see exactly how I made these, I actually did them on a Facebook Live. I will put the link below in the comments. But the first thing I'm going to do, and then I have some transfers and things too um, that you saw last week that I will likely incorporate as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is cut my paper. I'm just gonna get all of the white edges off and that way I can look at it a little bit better and see how I am going to use it for this book. I am absolutely in love with this. <laughs> Let's do this one. So first, I'm thinking of using this to cover up this part of the envelope and I really kind of like it with this heavier area in this corner. So let me just see. Then, it off a little bit short. I have that. Let me just make sure this is lined up. So this is where it folds, so I might want it to be like here-ish. And let's just check that. Be a little off even. Yeah, I was a little bit off. <laughs> so that's the line I actually want to cut it out. Y'all, if you are measurers, you go ahead and measure. I'm not a measurer. I'm a let's line it up and make a mark. <laughs> all on its own, isn't it? <laughs> that little babe right there. Okay, so this is going to fit right here. Oh, it's so cute. And I need to make an opening though, or just to make it clear that this is an opening. So I think I'm going to make a tab in here with my two inch hole punch. And I'm literally just eyeing this up. Pretty good. 
But I think, I do think I'm gonna cut a sliver off of this because you won't be able to get anything in there. See, I had the right idea the first time to make it a little bit shorter. Maybe that first mark was the mark and I was right. Yes. Now I should be able to get something in there. All right, that will be cute. So, I'm going to put. All right, so let me get my Yoohoo out. Glue this entire thing. in my bone folder. All right, that is pretty good. Let's see up here, it needs to be feel like it needs to be trimmed. It does. Pretty good on the bottom. All right, that's pretty. Love that. Right, I am thinking about putting this in here. right in here. And using the bone folder really helps because this envelope that I am decorating on top of is very, very, very textured. Okay, so I'm going to stick a piece of this washi on the inside of this pocket here. So let me I have too many things in front of me. <laughs> Let me trim that. Straight across if I can. Straight enough, anyway. Get off of my finger. 
So we'll do right after this number. And I do want some of this glue, but it's going to be hard to get it in there. So let me grab, grab a brush. Get it off my finger. Curly cue here. I don't have it up as far as I want to. Kind of hard to manipulate, and I'm my little paper's coming up here too, so. See if I can get this end down. <laughs> if everything wasn't sticky and sticking to my fingers, it would be a mite bit easier. I think that may have to do it even though it's a little wonky. And I'm going to put another piece just right behind this so there's no gap. You should be able to get, nope, can't even get it in there. It's a, such a small little area. back of this. Put that down. I really manipulated it quite a bit so the glue released a little bit which is okay because I'd rather know that now than have it happen later. I'm thinking about using this to make a little card to go on the inside. I want to take off on this side. Let's see if this fits inside. It might not. need to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, so let's cut it. 
smidgen off of this side. And I need to cut a little bit more. So, I kind of want to cut it off of this side because I like that other side. Not that I don't like this side, but you know what I'm saying. I like this kind of sticking out. That's cute. Put something in there. Like a tag. Do we like that? I think we do. <laughs> we, meaning me, myself, and I. So, inking the sides and just a little bit of the bottom. Inking. Putting glue on. That is not ink. <laughs> you knew what I meant, right? Yeah, I like this better than that washi. Okay. Adorable. That is adorable, actually. Quite adorable. And then I have these little strips. I just stick one on top here. What about, do I need one here? Could I frame this whole thing out? I kind of feel like I like that. Trying to decide if I want this to come over it, if I want to just cut it right there. Very slidey right when you get the glue on it, so just know it might slide around a little bit. I kind of like this. It's like a little bit of a frame. It's kind of cute. I decided I'm going to just go right over that. All right, so I have decided that this is going to be a pen pocket because this is a journal and I just think it's so cute to have a little pen in here and you just pop that in your purse, right? Or your bag or whatever suitcase if you're traveling. Um, I just took a regular uh, tag and I um, put some of the butterfly transfers on it from that little sheet that I had before and then I just ink the edges a little bit and then that just pops right into here and then I put some butterflies on the front page and um, the back page with a little floral here 
And so now I'm trying to figure out how I want to finish this. And I have this Papillon collection. This is um, from Redesign. And there's a couple of butterflies on here that I think would really work. By the way, you can get this whole collection. You get three sheets. Look at how cool this is. I love these. They're small and I, they're just my favorite. And so you get three sheets and I think there's, I think it's 16 or $17. I can't remember the exact price, but I love this big guy and think it's so pretty, but it, I don't think it quite fits. So I think it's a little big. So I really like this one. And I'm just kind of going to see what they look like. And so I may end up putting one out here too. So this is so patterned, right? I just don't want whatever I put on to get lost. I think this will, I think this will work. I just have to figure out which side I want to put it on. Or which area I want to put it on. So I think I'll probably use that for sure. This one might not be right. When I was cutting it just now, I thought it might be, but... That's a little off. The colors are a little off for that one. But what about this guy? Guy or gal? I know some people can tell the difference between butterflies, but I sure can't. This one's pretty good. Let's check this one too. And I think if I were to put one of these words on, that it wouldn't be able to be seen. Like, it's just going to compete with all of this texture that's on here. I kind of like that. Ooh, that looks pretty good right here. I wonder if I want one more. Let me dig through these and see what else I have. If I did one more, I would have to be smaller. Would need a different scale here. Let's try this. So this is all about butterflies. <laughs> I didn't have that stuck down yet, thankfully. Kind of wanting to do three. I have to maybe dig through the rest of my stuff to see what there all is. That kind of looks cute. I don't want to do butterfly overload, but these two could be cute on here. They still have their backings. <laughs> these ones, if I touch them, they're done. But I'm really visual. I need to just see how it looks. So there's another little one in here. I would have to cut them out of the wreath, but I probably won't use that wreath anyways. What if I did one, two, and then this little one down here, or would he have to go on top? Or would it go like this? And then that baby one? Sorry, wreath. <laughs> I'll leave it intact. I may, you know, you never know. It's not something I would normally use, but I may use it. <laughs> so janebelanteart.com and then go to shop and that's where you'll find these. I'm going to just gently set them so I can see exactly where I want them in place. I still have time to move them around because I haven't pushed it down yet. I have not committed, but I think I will commit. It's pretty cute. Done. <laughs> I did it. 
fully committed now. So I know for a fact that I don't have the don't forget to fly anywhere. Certainly haven't printed anything like that off. Um, so I have to figure out if I want that or if I want just a poem. So cute. I'm just going to ink around it, give it a little bit of depth. Maybe I'll round the corners too. So, and I could have something, you know, on the back here as well. But I might leave that to see how this ends up getting used. Or if I end up selling it, somebody might want to put, you know, something on the back that is special to them. It's really cute and I like kind of how subtle the butterflies are. So this can go in here. Bye butterflies. Okay, so I found this poem real quick and so I thought I would just put it on. Um, I'm going to ink the edges. So this is the William Wordsworth butterfly poem. I don't know about you all, but I had, when my kids were babies, that's when the baby Mozart videos were becoming really popular. Ink that a little too far in. And um, they were so weird. They just, it was like babies playing with toys and it had like classical music, but as babies and like one-year-olds, my kids were like enthralled with those. And um, they read this, they read this poem on that. And I cut it a little funky right there. So we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. And the printing must have been off because this goes up. It's really funny how that, how it was. It, I found it in a, on an old children's book page. And as usually happens in these cases, these things just emerge and I find them like right when I'm supposed to find them. And it makes me really extremely happy so, this book is ode, an ode to butterflies. And I think it's just cute. 
cute and perfect. Got a little chunk, maybe I'll just do, <laughs> wipe some of that up there. <gasps> it ripped. Ugh. Let that be a lesson to you all. These are very, very brittle. Very brittle. I can make it work though. These old book pages are brittle. They're very brittle. And these are old. This is from one called Up. Um, it's the My Book House series, and it's Up One Pair of Stairs is the title. They did a whole bunch of different ones. They had Through Fairy Halls, Up One Pair of Stairs. Um, I can't think of the other ones. Like, there's two or three more. I think I have them all. They're really fun books. So I almost feel like I want just a little baby butterfly down here, but this is what the paper looks like. And then I love this, you know, the um, illustration. It doesn't match this book, but it's awfully, awfully cute. So just pulling out one more time. Let's see if I can find a, I think this one's too big. Let's see if I can find a smaller bluish butterfly and I may just take one off of here he's not quite I don't think he'll quite pop off though so that's what I'll do I'm going to find one more butterfly Um, in my little stash here and then um, and then that's it I'll show you a picture right at the end of this video of what it looks like and um, once again thank you so much for joining me please head over to janebelanteart.com where you will find um, some $10 classes you'll find my mixed media club which by the way is closing September 15th so if you've been thinking about joining now is the time to get in I don't know when it's going to open again um, I'm really just want to focus on the group. I don't want to focus on marketing it anymore. So I want to focus on the group. And so that's what I'm going to do. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you have a really great rest of your day. Come back next week. I've got a really fun project that's going to release on Monday. And I'll have something brand new for you next week, Friday. So once again, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it.